to my channel. It's your girl Event XO coming to you with another video, and today we are going to be transforming into Sakuna from Jujutsu Kaisen. So first off, I'm starting with Charlotte Tilbury's Magic Cream. This works as a priming moisturizer, and I love this stuff. It smells so good, and I just put it all over. Then we're gonna start off with my brows. Now as you can see, half of my brows are gone. So we have to add eyeshadow on top of whatever we're using for our brows to kind of set that in place. I'm gonna go ahead and clean that up with concealer. This is my Urban Decay concealer. I'm gonna use this for my makeup later on, so just keep that in mind. Next up is foundation. I'm going to go in with my NARS Radiant Longwear Foundation. I did get a color that's a little bit too warm, and you're going to see how warm it is when I put it all over. And yes, I'm going to look like an Oompa Loompa, and I'm going to try to cool it down, but it's not going to really work. So that's just my fault. And then I'm going to go in with my concealer. This is the Urban Decay one that I use to clean up my brows. It is a ride or die for me. I also like to use the... NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer as well as the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer. I'm going to go ahead and contour. Now, I don't like this contour. I don't know what I was doing. Um, I wanted to try something new, but I do not like this color. It is way too dark for me. Way too dark. I should have gone with something that's two tones darker than my skin tone but this one was way too dark and you're gonna see what I mean later on because it's gonna look a little muddy I'm gonna start blending everything out and trying to hide that muddy contour I was struggling y'all I was struggling but you know you just got to keep moving forward all right so I'm blending everything I'm trying to cover up the contour with my concealer and with the foundation that's left over in my sponge and I'm trying to I'm trying to blend to the gods okay I'm trying to blend it all out Then I'm gonna go in with my Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. I just set all the areas that I use concealer on and I make sure to get my jawline because we're gonna do like a reverse contour kind of thing at my jawline. And then I'm gonna go in with my Morphe Face Palette. I feel like nobody really talks about this face palette but it runs rich and I love it so much. And I'm gonna use these two colors to set my contour and kind of act like a bronze because the contour was way too dark. I'm gonna to try to bring some more warmth to it. I'm gonna go into this Juvia's Place palette. I believe that's the Warrior 2 or Warrior 3. And I take that color to add as blush because I feel like regular blushes don't really add enough color for me when I'm doing my anime characters or if I'm doing cosplay. Then I go in with my favorite, my Ride or Die highlighter. This one's from Icy Wifey's Cosmetics. This is in the color Barbs. It's like this really pink, cute highlighter and it like actually highlights unlike other highlighters I won't mention. Then I'm gonna go into another Juvia's Place palette. I know this one is the, another Warrior palette. And I take that color to set my eye, my eyelid. My eyelid wrinkles a lot. As you can see in the other eye, it's really wrinkled. So I like to use that to set. And I'm gonna take those two brown colors to add as a way to contour my eyes. Yes, I'm contouring my eyes, guys. It, it adds a little bit of a shape to it. You know, it, it accentuates, all right? So that's what I'm gonna do. Then we're going in with eyeliner. You want to look straight forward when you're doing this. I don't know why people look down or look up. You're not gonna get the result that you want if you're looking any other way besides straight while you're putting on your eyeliner. So that's what I'm doing and I'm making sure to fill it in at this point. And we're gonna wanna extend the inner corner of our eyes and I like to, it, it I feel like it makes, me have it gives me a nice evil sultry look <laughs> if you know what I mean and so that's that's what I like to do I like to do that I'm gonna take some black eyeshadow one of my favorite black eyeshadows make sure you tap off the excess before you do this I'm just putting it on the outer corner and also setting my liner then we're gonna go in with some white liner 
on our waterline. I like to add a little spiky lashes on the bottom because I don't have lashes on the bottom. So I like to add that and that gives a little, a cute little look, you know? Now you go in with your favorite brown lipstick. I'm using Kat, well it's not Kat Von D anymore, but it's KVD Beauty's Liquid Lip in Crucifix. Then I'm gonna go on top of that with Camera Ready Cosmetics number six lipstick because it's a nice nude for me. I'm gonna dab all that up, blend it up, blend it up, blend it up. Then we go over it with Buxom Cosmetics Lip Plumpers. When I tell you these are the GOAT, these are the GOAT of lip glosses. I don't know why people are sleeping on them. I add my little beauty marks every every now and then, more so often now than then. And then I'm gonna add his scars that he has by his eyes. Well, Itadori has them, but Sukun is gonna have them as his eyes, so yeah. If you wanna finish and you wanna stop right here, you can go ahead and stop right here. But like I said, this is a Sukuna tutorial. So that's what we're gonna get into right now. So what you want is a water-based face paint. You can use cream-based, but I feel like water-based runs smoother on the skin after you applied your makeup. And I just have his picture for reference on the side on my computer screen. That's why you, you'll see me looking a lot, looking to the side a lot, and I was doubting myself, y'all. I was doubting myself because I was like, damn, I should have gotten a thinner brush, but it's okay. I'm just following it off. I'm just I'm just paying attention to where it's filled. You see, I'm going over it multiple times, taking my time with it. Remember, these videos are sped up by like 200%. So I'm really taking my time to do this. So don't rush it, don't rush the process. Make sure everything's even. Also, don't pay attention to this part because the nose is gonna come out a little bit crooked, but it's okay. <laughs> Now I'm gonna go ahead and start following the picture. When it comes to the eye, I don't think I showed this on camera, but once I put the red and the black in, I do add a little white dot inside the eye to make it more, you know, more animated like. And then I also add a black eyeshadow later on to the top of the eye just to add a shadow to it because I feel like it makes it more realistic even though it's not. But you know, it gives it a more devious look. So I'm just gonna let you guys chill and watch me do the rest of this. I'm only gonna show you how to do half of the face and not the other half because it's repetitive. But yeah, enjoy. So as you see, I'm doing the body part. Now, I messed up a little bit on this, but please do not judge me, okay? Please do not judge me. It is hard to do your arms, especially the back of your arms. So a lot of the times the lines don't connect, but it's whatever.
and I also add some cuts to my brows because I felt like, you know, I want to make him look more badass than he already is. So why not, all right? And I go ahead and spray with setting spray. I also spray setting spray all over my body, but you guys don't see that. Just so that it doesn't smudge as often as it would without the setting spray. And I'm done. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for tuning in to another video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please leave me a thumbs up if you like what you saw and you saw what you like. Also, also, also make sure to hit that subscribe button. It's going to be down below right in this corner, right down there. And yeah, thank you guys so much for tuning in. I'll see you next time. Bye.